Bhagavad Gita, text 2.50 One whose intelligence is disciplined to act in this way rids himself of both good and bad karma. Therefore, devote yourself to yoga, the art of work. In this verse, Krishna chides Arjuna for his reluctance to fight with his relatives. Arjuna is not adroit in his reticence to fight. Yoga is the art of work because although it is action, it destroys the results of both evil and pious action. Good karma does not destroy bad karma, but the act of yoga destroys good and bad karma. In verse 39 of this chapter, Krishna began speaking about yoga. Therein, he spoke of it in terms of practice as opposed to theory. He taught that yoga is a spiritual exercise that involves control and integration. In verses 48 to 50, he also spoke of yoga in terms of its involving control and the integration of intelligence or introspection and action. In verse 48, he also defined yoga as equanimity of mind. And here, in this verse, he further defines it as the art of or skill in performing work that results in freedom from karmic reaction. Should Arjuna question the value of foregoing pious acts, Krishna next speaks of the attainment of yoga, by which piety and impiety are transcended.